Good afternoon, my name is Stephen Angelides. I'm the Managing Director of Hong Kong Sky High and Senior Form Analyst. I'm going to give you a brief explanation of the outline and structuring of the Triple Trio tickets that we play. Now, on any given day, we could play anything from one set of tickets to half a dozen set of tickets. The structuring of the tickets will vary depending on field size, depending on, on our opinion, obviously, on on how we need to approach it. Whilst we have structured methods of playing, we vary these and mix these structures based on, on our opinion for the day, as I said. Now, if you look at the tickets that we've played on the 14th of April, we played on this particular day four or five different combinations of tickets. Now, the most likely ones for us is obviously an always ticket, and that's fairly self-explanatory. That means any three of the selections must run in the placings. Now, the, the triple trio is effectively three tierces in a row, basically three trifectas in a row, but not in any specific order. So as you can see, on this particular ticket, we played eight always in the first leg, going into race five, eight always, going into race six, five always. Now, as you can see here, it says a $2. Now, all dividends declared in Hong Kong are for a $10 unit. So this is effectively a flexi bet for 20%. In addition to an always ticket, and keep in mind that when we structure these tickets, we design a base ticket and then from there, we put together a series of smaller tickets um, or different combinations of tickets or different style of tickets to broaden the selections in each leg. Now, on the second ticket, we played a banker in the first leg. Now, where you see this scenario, a horse's name, banker, with, that means that this horse, the banker, must run a place for this ticket to remain alive. Doesn't have to win the race, only needs to run in the placings with any of these. Now on this particular ticket, we played a banker in the first leg, race four. We played a banker in the in race five. And then we have broadened the last leg. Now if you can recall, on the first leg, we had five always on the on the original ticket. Now what we've done is, by going banker, banker in the first two legs, it gave us the opportunity to add in extra horses in the last. So effectively, we played a banker, a banker, and then seven always in the last. Now, the structuring of these tickets is very much dependent on, on whether we locate a banker. Obviously, if the leg is extremely difficult and I, I can't confidently uh, locate a banker, we will not play a bank. We will go wide. Now we've gone seven wide, eight wide, nine wide. We've even gone 10 wide on occasions. Obviously, the more you put in, the more expensive the ticket becomes. Now we also, from time to time, play double bankers. Now double bankers is this scenario here where in the last leg, we've got, um, Two horses here, Blazing Speed and King's Pack Banker. That means both horses must run in the place. One is not good enough. Now, in this particular case, Blazing Speed won the race. King's Pack missed the placings. Now, with the TT, if you get to the last leg and you miss it, you do get a consolation. Now, the consolation is based on the number of units you have. Now, we play for a $2 unit. Uh, double banker with one, two, three, with seven horses is seven combinations. So it's seven combinations by two dollars, which effectively is 1.4 units. And that's why we've got this consolation dividend on this ticket. On the other ticket here, we had a consolation where we've got the first two legs, we've gone all ways in a banker ho ho life that, and that opened up the last ticket for us where we've got King's Pack as a banker. Now we've got King's Pack as a banker with with eight horses. So a banker with eight horses is 
Seven eighths of 56, halve that, it's 28 combinations. 28 combinations by $2 is 5.6 full units of the consolation dividend. Now, as you can see, in this particular case, we have the consolation paid just over 2,000, so we have five times that. It sounds complicated, but once you've seen the tickets and once you've played with us for a while, uh, they'll become second nature to you as they have become to us. I must admit in the early periods, early years, it was a little bit confusing and a little bit complicated. But obviously as we've gone on, they've become second nature. The key factor you need to remember is if it's a single banker, it must run a place. If there's two bankers, both must run a place. And if it's an always ticket, any three of the number of horses selected must run in the placings. Uh, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy your time with Hong Kong Sky High and may we all have great success.